Hey guys, how you doing today? Paul and Michelle here out in Hi. Chicago. I uh, wanted to come with you with three reasons why you should buy a house or consider buying a house right now and one reason why you may not want to buy a house right now. So with that, uh, we'll get started. The first reason I think you should probably consider buying a house in Chicago is interest rates. We're in that six and a half to seven percent window. And um, by the way, I think Michelle has something to add to that. Yeah, everybody's confused and thinks that interest rates are soaring, and actually they're at average. They're at an average over the last thirty years. When I bought my first house when I was twenty three, I paid eight point three percent interest. Yeah, so six so, uh, six percent is about the trend line for the last um, thirty years or so. So interest rates are kind of average or normal. But the reason that you might want to buy a place now at six and a half to seven percent is you can always refinance, and there's an inventory shortage in Chicago, in Cook and DuPage County, that's kind of keeping a lid on home prices right now. They're not. Um, going up as much as they were, but they're kind of staying steady. If interest rates dip back down below 6%, you may see a spike in home prices again in Illinois, and that may drive your payment and total cost above where it would be at a 6% interest rate or 6.5% interest rate if you refinance you know, two years down the road when it's back in the fives. So that is one reason to buy a house right now. Uh, what Second reason? You got a second reason? Stop paying somebody else's mortgage. We all know that in the long run, if real estate, whether it's a little volatile right now or not, is always a good long-term investment. So stop paying somebody else's mortgage. What do you think the average rent is right now in Chicago? 2200 2400 mm -hmm. So the nice thing about that too is you can actually buy a house here in Chicago and your mortgage payment will sometimes be less than your rental payment. So stop paying someone else's mortgage. Um, and then we've got number three. What was number three? I don't know. You came up with number three. I don't know. And number three, uh, you know, housing is a long-term investment. If you look at housing over the long term, the last 30 years, uh, it's many, up, many ups and downs, but it averages a 4% return every single year for the last 30 years. So it's one of the better, more safer investments out there. You can put your money in housing and know that over the long haul, you should, you know, get a return of at least 4%. So that is three reasons why you should buy a house in Illinois today. And what is the one reason why you shouldn't? Well, I wouldn't buy right now if I were an investor. Um, it's just not, it's not the best move to make right now because housing prices are a little bit higher and interest rates are higher. Yeah, and the interest rates for investment properties are usually a half percent to a percent above normal conventional interest rates. Because you're not living there. Yeah, and then the other thing as an investor is that now would be a great time to sell because you could capitalize on the market, uh, capitalize on the higher prices, and then invest again next year when home prices are supposed to come down a little bit and maybe have a little bit more favorable interest rate. Yeah, start preparing for the fall for, for making a move on investment properties is what we kind of so. think. There you go. And Three reasons why you buy and one reason why to sell or one reason not to buy in Illinois for 2023. And if you're renting and you can't have a dog where you're at, you can have a house where you can have a dog. Very good. If you're, uh, if you have any interest or know anybody who's looking to buy or sell in Chicago, or um, if you're moving to Chicago, we would love to tell you about the neighborhoods and uh, update you on kind of market stats here. So thank you very much and hope to talk to you soon. Happy Tuesday.